6,730 days after Don Rice saw his nine-year-old son Jimmy alive for the last time, he will sit in a small room at Florida State Prison. Through a window, he will watch Juan Carlos Chavez executed by lethal injection. And it will not bring closure. There's no such thing as closure because I won't get my child back. But it will be closing an important chapter that needs to be closed in my family's life. A chapter in a story that always begins with the nightmare. September 11th, 1995, Jimmy walking home from his school bus in rural South Miami-Dade. Chavez, a farmhand working nearby, later confessed to what happened. Retired homicide detective Pat Diaz. He tells us he rolls down his window, points a gun at him and says, get in the truck. Jimmy crosses the street and gets in the truck with him. And that's, and it basically, this is the place where it happened. Jimmy was probably 250 yards from his house. Jimmy's mom, Claudine, could never let go of the what ifs. No mom, no parent could. And I, sh I should have told Jimmy, because if Jimmy had known that was the right thing to do, he would have tried to break away from that hole and he would have turned and run and he, I think he would have be home today. Three months after Jimmy disappeared, a suspicious employer put detectives on Chavez's trail. He admitted raping Jimmy, shooting him when he tried to escape and then dismembering his body. Anger and grief, if you control it, can be very powerful forces to help you accomplish things. The couple fought for the Jimmy Rice Act to keep sexual predators locked up until they can prove they are rehabilitated. The Jimmy Rice Center aids those victimized by sex predator abductions. But the grief and strain kept exacting a toll. In 2009, Claudine died from a heart attack. Then, in 2012, Jimmy's older sister, who helped fight for missing children, took her own life. So much to bear for one man, one dad. Today, behind these walls, a chapter in his life journey ends. The heartbreak never does. Back live.